Hello Cancer and welcome to your Venus into Cancer love reading. This guy, this is going to really affect you guys as Venus moves through your sign. She is bringing you healing. She is bringing you compassion. She is really putting you in your emotional body so that you can heal things all the way down to your roots Cancer. So Venus is healing you and empowering you. Let's pull some cards to see what your love energies are as Venus moves through your sign. All right, so we have an old flame coming through. And we have a romantic gesture. All right, Cancer. Um, as Venus moves through your sign, this is going to make everybody quite emotional and get them in tune and in touch with their emotional body. Um, there's going to be days where people are very sensitive, very sentimental, super mushy, and um, you are no exception, Cancer. You are also going to be feeling those energies. So if one day you're just feeling like really sensitive, no, it's going to pass, all right? Venus is just putting each and every one of us very in tune and in touch with our emotional body at the roots of things okay and so for you cancer there is somebody um, old flame old romance um, this could have been a you know full-blown relationship this could have been a few dates this could have been a misconnection this could have been an old crush okay there's just this old energy from the past that is now coming into the present as Venus moves through your sign to offer you something, Cancer, to offer you an apology, to offer you a gift, to offer you love, to offer you a second chance. All right. So this reading for Cancers is really about old energy. So those of you who are in union, um, you know, potentially check your rising or moon sign because, um, or even like complicated connections. Um, I don't see that here. This truly is for a Cancer that has somebody coming back from the past. Like that's really emphasized. So whether you are in union, in a complicated uh, situation, or just outright single, you know, um, I feel like you guys have some old loves, old flames trying to come back into your reality. They're really thinking about you. They're feeling you in their roots. And some of them want a second chance. Some of them just want to know how you're doing, what's going on. Let me test the waters here, okay? Cancer, so no matter your current uh, relationship status, I do feel there are some old energies that are watching you that want to come back in. And some of you, they actually are, and they're going to offer you something. So let's pull you as some tarot. The Nine of Cups, look at all that water right out the gate. The Queen of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Three of Wands, you've waited for this, Cancer. And the Fool, look at that, nice. Cancer, these old flames coming back in, they want the real deal with you. Okay, they do. Um, it could be a Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I feel more that Queen of Pentacles is the representation of the commitment being offered, whether you are male or female. And the reason why it's coming through as the queen rather than the king is because of Venus moving through your sign, which is putting everybody very in tune with their emotions, with their divine feminine, their yin energy, the sacral chakra, okay? And these old flames returning to you, they're really feeling you. They want to give you a commitment. They want to make up for what happened in the past, okay? They've been waiting for this uh, timing to offer you 
a new relationship whether they're just trying to come in as a friend or they're putting it all out there right away all right but with the ten of cups and the nine of cups it's like you cancer are my wish that is what will fill each cup that I have is you okay and um, you've been wanting this cancer I think you've been wishing for this you've been waiting for it you um, some of you want to know why did you just walk away or what happened or why did this disagreement totally sever us there's something that took place here through this five of swords and you've been waiting for that understanding that clarity that answer you've been waiting for it and now it's finally coming for you because as Venus moves through cancer everybody is very in tune with their emotions emotional body and that starts off quite strong here for you and cancer what is being offered to you is somebody saying I will fill all ten cups for you you are my wish cancer you are my desire and let me spoil you let me give you a lot of attention let me uh, put you in the spotlight cancer so um, let's pull some cards to see where you are coming from exactly you are either blocked or you just don't see this coming you could have told this person to take a long walk on a short pier okay um, because of their behavior in the past or you um, as much as you may have hoped you don't see this coming oh queen of wands um, this attention that you're getting from this old flame or these multiple uh, people returning is making you feel very um, in the spotlight okay you are feeling desired you're feeling attractive um, you're just feeling in a way that you haven't in a while cancer so that's good to see and the knight of swords but you know what you are holding your cards close to your chest cancer you are you're not giving anything away with that knight of swords and look at what's next the king of swords yeah you are not giving anything away you are gonna make somebody work for it okay um, because whatever's happened here it left you very confused and unsure and even though this person is coming in and, and flooding you with this attention and these gifts um, you are unsure about it like you don't totally trust it okay you you don't you are wanting to see that this is consistent long term like oh did you just miss me are you lonely are you bored like you're really gonna question them like why are you coming back now what happened to you did you lose your job did things not work out with that person that you were cheating on me with or that you left me for or that you stopped talking to me for you know like you're gonna really put them on the spot you um, as much as you enjoy this attention and and it's making you feel good you don't trust it and you're not willing to be totally open and vulnerable all right you are really uh, they're only getting your hard exterior of the crab they're not getting the that soft uh, mushy gushy insides they're not getting any part of that you are making them work for it you are making them prove it to you and um, I feel that they will cancer they're gonna do what it takes um, it looks like they're very serious especially with this queen of pentacles coming in like I want to make this real with you I want to make it right with you you are my wish you will be my ultimate happiness but I just cancer I don't know that you're so open and trusting to it okay and some of you with this queen of pentacles this could absolutely indicate the reason for your standoff behavior is because you are in a committed relationship with somebody else and um, this person returning kind of just takes you so off guard um, that you you're not sure what to do about it like you've been hoping for this or waiting for this because you wanted the um, understanding the clarity um, the reason why like closure and then here it comes and you're just like hmm that's interesting 
okay so those of you in union this is not a message about you and your partner this would be a message about somebody from your past wanting to come back in and because you are in this committed relationship that could be why you are so closed off to them you don't really have any interest in pursuing but hearing from them them apologizing them taking accountability and ownership makes you feel very good and gives you the closure you need okay um but for the rest of you who are single, open, and available, I do see you being kind of closed off and standoffish with them. You just, you don't trust it. But they look like they're being very genuine. But it's good that you're making them prove themselves, Cancer. So let's pull you a message. Oh yeah, because look at, look at here. That's you being protected by the angels. That's you being healed by the angels. And this says, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. So with this message, Cancer Spirit is saying, even if you have hoped for and wanted this person to return into your life, um, you are very well served to keep your energy very closed and very guarded right now and put yourself first and don't make them feel like they're important. Make them feel like they need to work to get back into your world because if something's just easy, it, that's what's taken for granted. But if this person truly has to work and prove themselves, they will if they're serious about being with you, about getting back into your life, Cancer. They will do what it takes. They will start out as just your friend giving you the space that you need proving themselves slowly over time that yes they are serious now they are interested they do want to be with you okay so don't um don't give it all away um right out the gate like keep your emotions and your true thoughts to yourself make them pour their heart out make them expose themselves all the way so that you know truly what you're dealing with and what you're working with through the cards they look like they're genuine and sincere but this is a general reading cancer so you got to use your own personal discernment and what's returning to you all right um, and those of you who are in a committed relationship with somebody and this person from the past is showing up don't uh, second guess where you're at okay because the way I'm seeing this is where you're at is really good for you and this person from the past returning is only to finally give you that closure you need so you can fully immerse yourself into the connection that you are currently a part of okay and then those of you um, that are not uh, committed to somebody else don't let this person back in right away enjoy the journey all right make them court you make them prove themselves to you because they did something in the past and they didn't let you know why or they really left you hanging okay so let's pull some cards to look at the soul cycle of this connection and this is um, I'm gonna look at the soul cycle for those of you where you know you are single and available opposed to those of you who are not available because I just don't see you even entertaining this person. It's just to give you closure. get the fools out here twice okay so is the queen of wands so here is the root of this soul cycle there is a lot of physical attraction okay um, that's what initially connected you guys 
was some sort of like physical chemistry or attraction with this Queen of Wands coming out. And um, from there, it progressed further into, um, you know, a lot of fun times with each other. But Cancer, you could have uh, been feeling a bit used by this energy, like you're only interested in me for what I have or for uh, my body or for what we do when we are getting down with each other. Like you were feeling um, used or taken advantage of because the way that energy further progresses is into this Three of Cups, okay, which is, um, you know, more physical intimacy, things being more based in that energy rather than the soul connection, which is where I feel you were coming from. And they were coming more from a place of like a physical connection and attraction. And like, I want to just have fun with you. I want to see you when it's good for me, not um, taking you serious, not giving you what you deserve. And then the relationship dissolved out uh, for whatever purpose. And now here you are showing as this empress energy okay where um, it's got to be real or it's nothing at all and also the progression of the soul cycle with this person is through these trials and tribulations um, of the past there was growth and evolution that was received by both of you and this is what you evolve into is this empress energy which is a very abundant compassionate nurturing type of connection again there is still a lot of physical attraction there but it's not so much based on that as it was initially with that other person okay and here's your two different energies um, this is you I feel cancer where you do want to take things slow you want to be courted you want to be romanced you don't want things rushed you don't want um, somebody just to like this person just to hop in the bed with you like you might be physically attracted to them still but you don't want that again you want something real and here they are coming through as the fool wanting to give you something real and you got that twice here okay they want a second chance with you they want a new beginning with you one 100% for sure. So the Fool is very significant as well as the Queen of Wands. So some of you, um, this could be Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or it could be Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, Cancer, let's pull you some advice. Oh, wow. It jumped right on out. Love overcomes all obstacles. A change in attitude is all it takes to turn things around. Trust in love's power. It will transform you and the one you love. All will soon uh, clear. So look at you are finally going to get those answers, that understanding, that clarity about what happened in the past. And, um, you know, just depending on your current situation, um, if you are involved with somebody else or, uh, you know, how this ended in the past with this person is how you are going to respond to this and all of you I see being kind of cl closed off and cold initially as you fill things out and again some of you are that way because you are with somebody else and this is just to bring you the closure you need so you can move on with that person and then others of you this is because that person really does want a second chance with you all right cancer so those are your messages I am sending you lots of love and light cancer take care